Okay, there we go. All right, shout one. Shout one, shout one. All right, first off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rekapadash. Okay, double honors to the fathers and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and blessings to the Akim scattered throughout the four corners, keeping his word in truth and sincerity. That's right. Like, uh, uh, no, I'm the brother Yaikwab. GMS Dallas Camp, I got the brother uh yeah, Pasapod, brother, right. brother, brother Orba, Orba. Uh, brother Knock. Alright, uh I'm just gonna go into a quick video. Uh word. Right. Now uh, you wanna start that in Revelations eleven yeah, and uh, right. Right. Hey, right. hey check it out man. It's crazy how the so called white man is trying to demonize the men of the Lord, right? Now when the men of the Lord was in the streets well, back in the world, it was no problem. But now that Jake has a rise and no dry bones standing on their feet and they speaking, waking up to who they are, now it's a fucking problem and shit. Mm -hmm. We was in that dead state walking around this place trying to make it, trying to go into, uh, you know, uh, movie acting, singing, or, you know, whatever, uh, uh, basketball in your sports arenas, selling drugs, committing adultery, you was fine with that. Right. But now the Mosai took those sick men out of that state they were in and put his spirit upon them, now you got a problem with it, bro. You read Found. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. That's talking about America, man. Sodom and Egypt was destroyed. And back yep. in Egypt, we was over there in captivity, man. Through Moses and Aaron, he led us out of the captivity, right? That's mm -hmm. right. So their dead bodies, now when we came to the Americas, they beat the Hebrew out of us. They beat our nationality out of us. So for a period of time, we walked around not knowing who we were, man. Mm -hmm. So the dead bodies represent you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's walking around mentally dead and spiritually dead because you don't know who you are, man. That's right. You walk around this great city called America because every nation on the planet want to come to America because they see the opportunities, the opportunities that are here. That's right. Where also our Lord was crucified. Yahweh Shabbat crucified. They asked him out, man. When they beat the Hebrew Israelite nationality out of us, Yahweh Shabbat went out of us too, man. So they asked out the Lord, man. They didn't want that name to come over here because they didn't want his people to wake up out of sleep that they're in, man. Yeah, I got a quick one. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. And it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hast hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes and, his, and, and uh, which he commanded uh, thee. You know, so it says is that these curses are going to overtake us until thou, until we were destroyed. And, and we have been destroyed, you know, we're continually destroyed unto this day, you know, like the brother Bonsabar made that point, man, that uh, the, the so-called white, so-called white man, who was Esau, according to the Bible, beat our heritage out of us. Right. You know, the scripture said that we ain't going to remember who we are as a people, you know. See, and also, in, it's not because you're off, so okay. and also in Baruch, they said that shit remember there, what, Baruch 4 and 2 or 2 and 4? I get it. He said that they, um, they have to go remember their... They remember the Lord's names. Man, how do we, uh, you got it? Uh, look at it. He said they go remember. Uh, basically, they, go ahead. You yeah, remember them? Say, go ahead, go ahead. Huh. This is um, Baruch chapter four, verse six. Okay, it says you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto your enemies. You provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. That leads up with what he just read in Deuteronomy. So when that happened, all the curses that's in the book of, De in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter fell upon the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, verse uh, 8. You have forgotten the everlasting, the everlasting God that brought you up, and you have grieved Jerusalem that nourished you. Alright. Um... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's going down a little further. Down up here. This is verse nine. For when we, sh for when she saw the wrath of the, of the wrath of God coming upon you, she said, "Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, God hath brought, God hath brought upon me great mourning, for I saw the captivity of my sons and my daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them." Bunch of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Right. Okay. For I saw the for I saw the captivity of oh it's a lot. Verse 11. With joy did I nourish them, 
but sent them away with weeping and mourning. See? Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am I am left desolate, because they departed from the law of the Most High. Jake went astray from the law, statutes, and commandments. Ever since then, man, the whole body of Israel is sick, man. That's why you see the apostles and elders out here and the men out here laboring in truth and sincerity around the world because the Most High brought us out of that state and that condition that we was under because we went off. We didn't follow the laws, statutes, and commandments as we agreed to. Right. We will continue? Yeah. What's that? I know it's not right. I know it's, I know it's, it's a form. Jason remember themselves in the captivity. Oh, what is two, two Keep reading on that one. Yeah, yeah, right. So I'll go to this is a uh, group three, three and eight. I'll go here. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. So how do we get over here? Cargo slave ships. When you capture some, when you capture a nation, you bring them over here across the seas on slave ships, you brought them into the land of their captive, of, of the land of their captivity, man. And they yet still today in that land. When you read the book of Exodus chapter 21, 16, he said if the if, if the if, if the children be found in his hand, they should be put to death. That's We're right. still to pray in, in Esau's hand, man. Right. Mm -hmm. This is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. You Israelites, yep. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are very hard-headed ass people, man. That's and right. and the most, so, so you think the most I don't know that? When he created us to be his people? Is that it? Huh, and it also tells you that in Acts the seventh chapter, man. You know, you're uncircumcised, stiff-necked people, man. Huh. You know, the, the most I was always telling and emphasizing that, man. You know? right. But back in Baruch uh, chapter 2 and verse 30, it says, for I knew that they would not hear me because they, uh, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. There you go. So it takes the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh shall, to put the remembrance in his people to remember themselves and the land we was brought to against our will, man. And then with that, he discontinued our, us from our heritage, man. You got it. This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. We pissed off the most out to the point that the fire is kindling in his nose forever because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments. And since we did that, he discontinued our, our inheritance from us, man, our nationality. We caught, now we walk around where we was walking around calling ourselves Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So this is a spiritual thing that's happening, vocab, and you other people out there that's going against the look of the most size people, saying we're a hate group or that we crazy, man. No, if we were, like I said, we were selling drugs and shit, killing one another, committing adultery, trying to make it in society, you, then you're fine with that. Now the most high that brought us back to remembrance, now you got a problem that the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man, is awake now. It says, uh, Isaiah 44, verse uh, verse 3, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Where's that water? The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible, man. That's right. Yeah. Israel, you walking around thirsty, man. We trying to tell y'all a good report. We, hey, look, the scripture says in Luke 4 and 18 to preach the gospel unto the poor and the brokenhearted. We're That's giving right. you the water that you need right now, man. That's yep. right. And floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. And you know, and that's what's happening. What's the, that's what the Lord did, man. That's right. what the Lord is doing. You know, that fountain of living waters. You know, right, the, right, right, yep. Out of him shall flow uh, 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 rivers of living water. Right. Verse 4, and they shall spring up um, as among the grass, as well as by the water courses. And that's what, what was happening there. When Abba Fibbins came and then started bringing back the, 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 the heart of the children back to the Father, you know what I'm saying? Those gra that grass was, was being plucked, was sprung uh, uh, sprung, being sprung up, yeah, you know? And that, uh, and that can also go with who you see out here on the street corner today, man. His people are springing up. Yep. The, the tribe ball with, uh, ah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
Uh, you good? Uh, yeah, you right, you right. Verse 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. And that's what these brothers do, man. That's what, Why? Because that's prophecy. It was prophesied that these things would happen, man. Right. That, uh, that grass that's being sprung up as willows by the water course, you know, that's us, like the brother mentioned, man. That's us on the, on the highways and byways being sprung up, like that's that right. grass. I remember Yatazak broke that down and he said, and I, and I asked, what does it mean? And he said, and he broke it down to me and then he was like, see, I, I, see, Jacob didn't know he was a blade of grass, you know? <laughs> so I was like, damn, that's that's cold, you know, like that, the way the most high words, thing, words these things. Uh, uh, yeah. And then it says, thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last and beside me there is no God. You know, and that was pretty much the point on that. It, but it shows you, uh, that it goes back to to the uh, to the valley of the dry bones, yep. you know. The Most High pouring His Spirit unto us, like the Scripture saying Romans 11 chapter, you know, the the elect have found it. Right. You know, the yep. Most High put the Spirit on us to come to that remember back to our uh, 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 and remember our heritage. Uh, that's right. Yeah, some. I got Ezekiel. Oh, Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 37. Going into that uh, uh, valley of dry bones, like the brother, like the brother said, this is Ezekiel uh, 37, starting at the top at verse one. The hand of you want to start at the top? Where is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Okay, come, come. The hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of dry bones. And that valley is talking about America, man. That lowland, that pit. Yep. You know, and it says and 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 caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. That's talking about you, you, you Jakes, man, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you didn't have this truth, man, this word. Right. And it goes back to Revelation 11, that Brother Bonsapad had made that point, those dead bodies. That's right. Go ahead. Verse three, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, power thou knowest. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Thus said Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, power. That's that water. You know, that water that we read right here in Isaiah 44. Right. You know what I'm saying? That that, that words Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, those, those rivers of, of living water, man. Huh. Right, go ahead. And that's Just also representative of us prophesying now, man, to you yeah, people, man. That's what you're seeing. What you're seeing is prophecy, man. What you're seeing is what we read out the scriptures. Yep. We ain't not here uh, 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 hurt nobody, man. And, no. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no hate causing group, man. Mischief. Causing mischief amongst mm -hmm. people out here that walk about. We read out the scriptures, man. Yep. That's right. The scriptures stand correct. Verse 5. Thus saith Yahweh power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live and that breath is, is representative of the knowledge wisdom and understanding of these scriptures man that's right you know which 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 causes life which is to be quickened man pursuing to john 6 and 63 man mm -hmm. yeah. verse 6 and i will lay sinews upon you and i will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's us coming back to our heritage, man. Yep. Us realizing we're Israelites again, man. That's why we got here real quick. <laughs> Luke, you finished that too. Luke 14 and 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. That's what he's going into, part of it, because he had the known of me to preach the gospel to the poor. That's what we're doing, man. The spirit of the Lord has, has spoken to those dry bones. Can these bones live? Now they're on their feet, huh. standing in great boldness. Preaching to the uh, to the Lord's people, man. You got it on. Let's go go into that. Uh, verse seven. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And that's us waking up, man, as a people, man. Us coming back into this truth, and back into our heritage, back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the ways of the Lord, man. As a nation, come, come. Verse eight. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and, and the flesh came up upon them. And the skin covered them ab above, but there was no breath in them. So we didn't have that knowledge yet, man. We, yeah, were coming, right. we were coming back, but that, we didn't have that knowledge yet. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus said Yahweh power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. 
So if I can, from the north, and those four winds from the north, east, south, and the west. Because remember, Jake is scattered, man. Mm -hmm. Jake right. is all over the place. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that 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 prophesied unto wind, it's gonna reach everywhere. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Jake is gonna wake up, come alive everywhere. All right. Right. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. Uh, and that's what you see. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you see that? A great army. Okay? A nation. All right? That's exactly what that's going into, man. And as you can see, this is all prophecies, man. Just like this brother just brought out. We are reading out of the Holy Scriptures, man. Right. This is prophecy that you are seeing unfolding right before your very eyes. You know? Now, now you know, you see, there's, there's nobody else out there that's going to break that down other than... The Israelites, man, right, the, right, the right. true men of the Lord, man, the true, the true men of the Lord that has actually got this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. That's how it's actually being able to be broken down. Living souls, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Quicken, man. You know these mm -hmm. these Christian pastors and preachers, they don't got it, man. Most I ain't dealing with with Joel uh, Osteen. Right. He ain't dealing with uh, 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 T D Jake Snakes Jake, man. He ain't dealing with them, man. He dealing with these men that you see right here and, and throughout the four corners. You know, like-minded men doing what we're doing, man. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. you, you want me to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the point. Hey, that's good. Uh, verse 11, continuing on in Ezekiel uh, 37, verse 11. Then, then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are, we are cut off for our, we are cut off for our parts. <coughs> there, uh, therefore, <laughs> prophesy and say unto them, thus said the Howard Power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause ye to come up, come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And that grave represents that dead state, man. Proverbs yep. 21 and 16 Go. tells you the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding remaineth in the congregation of the, of the dead, dead, man. That's right. You know, and that's what's going on. You seeing those those the, those chosen vessels from the foundation of the earth coming to life, man. You know, right. being quickened, made alive, man. You know, and we're, we're not, bringing out this word, man. Go ahead. Right. We're not going around vandalizing shit. We're not going around causing havoc in communities and wanting to gun people down, man. We're a spiritual group, man. We're a spiritual people, man. That's coming back to their true identity of the scriptures. It's a nationality. We're not black Hebrew Israelites, man. That's right. right. You see this brother right here? Do he look black to you? Huh. So called black? No, man. He's from the tribe of Issachar, man so-called Mexican, man. Mm -hmm. See, we, we have an inheritance. We have a, the most high promise an inheritance to his people, man. And that's what we're teaching, a nationality, that's not right. a color. Yep. And uh, so self-proclaimed white man is the one that made everything about a color, man. Right. Right. Made it all about that. When the scriptures clearly tell you that uh, uh, Israel is going to be, the heritage is going to be like a speckled bird, man. That's right. Okay? And I mean, if you go into further understanding, it also breaks down upon nationality because we were scattered. You know, we're always going to look, we're going to look like something different, man. You know? But it goes by the Spirit. The Spirit beareth witness, man. That's right. Okay? That's right. So we are the children of Israel. All right? That's right. Go ahead, brother. We're starting to get into the, we're going to the sticks. We're going to the sticks, man. Go ahead, read that. This is Jeremiah 30, uh, 32, verse 37, and it says, Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whether I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath, and I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. You know, so once when, the, when Israel finally comes back to their remembrance as a whole, as a nation, the Most High is going to set, set us back in our place, <clears throat> in, that, in that state of rulership, man. Yep. How it's supposed to be. Right. That's a threat to you so-called <laughs> That's the spirit. Dude, it's, 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 and that's a threat to this right. kingdom that's ran by the elites. That's because right. you fighting and scratching and clawing to the best of your ability so this prophecy won't pass. Right. It's, not, it ain't, it's not up to you. It's not up to us. It's up to the most high and his son. Man. That's right. right. Changing of the guard coming, baby. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you weren't worried about us when, when LeBron James was running around dunking on people, doing mm -hmm. this and other one. We out there tap dancing around you and... and uh, and entertaining you right. and being niggas, but now that we we have come unto our power, you know it's kind of like one of those in those movies where where uh, a superhero didn't know that he had all them powers oh, right. and didn't know how he was uh, able to be as strong as he was. Then when somebody taught them, believe in who you are, 
Right. And then guess what? They become this magical, mythical being, man, that comes apart, that can't be touched, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then, as the, as the scripture said, that's gonna be a that's gonna be an army. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be an army of them. All right. It's gonna be an army of us, man. That yeah, that uh, the Most High is gonna use as his battle axe. Okay. And so that's exactly what you, uh, you self-proclaimed uh, white people are afraid of, man. You Edomites, you got you got it coming for you. You got a lot to pay for, man. That's right. Okay. And what I mean, and as you see right here, we're we're not carnal. Our weapons are not, uh, you know, worldly things. All right. We're spiritual men. That's right. All right. So you're not gonna catch us out here, you know. Walking around, marching with guns and AKs and all types of things like that, being a uh, militant man, you know, that's that's not that's not the men of the Lord. And if you catch people doing that, then you know that's 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 off. Okay. That uh, that reminds me of what you said. That reminds me of the Lion King. You know, <laughs> they uh, the king fell right, and then uh, uh, Scar was the one that took over, and pretty much everything was pretty much uh, in a dead state, right? That's right. And then once Simba came back. And remember, and his father said the same thing. His father, he said, remember who you are. Yeah, okay. and, then, and then Simba was like, that's right, I'm a king. I'm that's a right. ruler. Right. And then what did he do? He went back and took back the kingdom. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and that's what Israel's going to do. Right. Israel represents that, that line, you know. That's right. That line coming back into that remembrance, like we went into, you know, remember the heritage and all that. Okay. You know, and we're gonna, like the scripture said, man, the saints are going to take the kingdom. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, but hey, but like the brother says, man, we can't do this. We're not going to do this now in, 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 this, in this, this physical state, these carnal bodies that we're in. The Most High is going to put that spirit on us and give us that strength. Right. Like the brother had mentioned, you know, we are that battle axe. That's right. That's why we got to wait upon the Lord to get get our lift back, man, to get that payback. And it's coming. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you know, our salvation is, is closer than what we believe, you know, it's as, according to what the scriptures have said. All right, got some up. Second Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of, of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to be pulling down of strongholds. That's right, man. So all we got to do is continue to come out here and prophesy, man. Come out here and do the work and the will of Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashai, and this kingdom is going to fall, man. This kingdom is going to fall. You know, you got, you got guys coming up there, coming up against... You know, uh, kicking up against the mix with uh, the so-called white man, but that's not what the scriptures say. You can't make your own way and make your own uh, your own path, man. Right. You are gonna die. You know, his blessing is the sword. Right. You know, Jake has tried that thousand or uh, hundreds of years ago. You know, just look at our brothers, the uh, the uh, the Native Americans. Okay, the Gadites. They tried it, man. You know. See what I'm saying? And it, and it didn't work because that's not how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had it set up. That it, that wasn't that wasn't the way he wanted his movie to play. You can't just come in and just direct your own thing and try to make your own way about this thing, man. All right. Yeah, and, say, if I may add, the scriptures say just backing up the brother in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, no man shall buy you, man. That's exactly what that means. You're not going to redeem yourself, man. So all those revolts and uprisings, it's not going to be how, how you're going to make it out of here, man. Right. The, the Lord has it set up how, how, how Israel is going to be saved, beginning to start with the elect. That's through your Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, that's, right. that's Proverbs. So it says, uh, wait, upon, uh, the, uh, wait upon the Lord, something to that effect, Ven vengeance is mine. Kind, you know kind, what I'm saying? Kind. So we can't do nothing right now. We're not going to do nothing right now. You know? And anything that, that, that does happen because of Esau putting that that, uh, that blame on us is because of him, you know, not because a brother decided, oh, what the scripture say we got to do, you know, we got to take the kingdom now, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's not because of that. It's because of something carnal that Esau made up just to make us look bad. Yep. The scriptures say we are supposed to be wise, uh, harmless, what is it? Uh, wise, like wise as serpents, but harmless as doves, man. Right. Huh? right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, when's the last time you've seen, you seen a situation like that where you see uh men of the lord actually going out and, and trying to uh terrorize the uh, stuff man you know that don't happen that does not happen man hmm. you know the so-called white man is a liar man was alive from the beginning came out of the womb lying okay mm -hmm. you got some more on that up nah. cast it down imaginations and you can have a 16 version 16 11th version and the bar that says reasonings 
Okay. So casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach. That's right, man. Like, like the scriptures say, obedience is better than sacrifice, man. You got to do you got to do what uh, the will of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. This is his program. Okay? Uh, I got a little more on this one. Go for it. So uh, this is back in Jeremiah 32. I'm going to read the last part of 37, uh, verse 37. It says, And I will cause them to dwell safely, right? And they shall be my people, and I will be their power. And the scripture said, uh, Deuteronomy 28, part of the curse is that we're going to be in fear of our lives. And also, when, when we come back to that remembrance, you know, that, that dry bones being brought back to life, you know, and, uh, and, and the, the nation of Israel coming back to their heritage as a whole, you know, we, we are going to dwell safely finally. You know, we're going to actually be good, you know? We're not going to have to lock our doors or worry about where our kids are at or, or uh, uh, how far they walk or who they're with or who's around. You know, Israel's going to be, uh, uh, they're going to be good. Safe. Okay. Wrap it up. But, but with, you know, but with that, you know, little Wooden Brothers were edified. With that, we're going to say, call uh, hello. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the Apostle, knows the great meals, and teaching real well. Peace and blessings to the Akim scattered throughout the four corners, keeping his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.